From the 12 News Studios, this is EVB Live. It's Friday, so you know what that means. We are talking real estate. Joining us once again, as she does every Friday, is realtor Holly Henbis. Always great to have you. Thank you, Tram. So as we know, last week, President Obama was here in town to talk about the real estate market and the recovery of the housing industry. What were your thoughts about his speech? Well, there were a couple of things. One, I really like how he addressed the fact that we've been through a rough time here in Phoenix, and I think it's interesting that he chose Phoenix to come back to because we were one of the hardest hit places in the nation. Yeah. And I think it was important that he addressed the the fact that things have been difficult and people who made really good decisions and worked really hard and saved to buy their first home and were making good decisions for their family went through some terrible times in the last few years. We all know how we were the place people were focused on with foreclosures and short sales and now we have come out of it mm -hmm. and I think everybody really needed to hear from him a level of confidence that things aren't just good for now they're good for now on yeah and so people can feel confident in making those next next steps in the real estate market that things truly are better and I think so many people are still skeptical and scared and it's really because they've been wounded you oh, know sure. there's the scars run deep not only were people hurt financially but it affected them emotionally mm -hmm. so I think it's good that he addressed that and remember Remembered, like how it felt that first time you got keys to your first new home. Yeah. People need to remember that feeling and get back to that again. Secondly, he really talked about the great things happening in terms of the lending world, which we've talked about here a little bit the last few weeks. The next day it was announced that there was a change to the FHA program in terms of loans. Mm -hmm. And that is a huge impact, especially to first time buyers or entry level buyers that are getting a new loan. Mm -hmm. With FHA, they've reduced the fees that go with your mortgage insurance. Right. People are gonna save right around $1,000 a year with that, which is roughly again, right around $100 a month. And we all know how far $100 a month can go, not only in terms of giving you extra discretionary income, but it can also help you to qualify for a bigger home. So this is a big impact to people who are getting ready to buy this year, and we do think this is gonna be a huge surge year for first time buyers. It's also great for people who have a current FHA loan, they can refi. Mm -hmm. So they can refi now and cut their payment down and again, increase their discretionary income on a monthly basis. Would you like to see more done though? Well, I would ideally like to see the FHA limit raised. Right now it's at 271.50. It'd be nice to see that go up. Especially nice if our conventional rate went up, which is right now at 417,000. Mm -hmm. So many people that were hurt during the days of the foreclosure and short sale were higher income producing people that were used to owning homes between 500 and a million dollars. It's hard for them to get back into the housing market again without having a significant down payment. So it would be nice to see something done for more of that level of buyer as well. But the good news is, even though it's starting at the lower end, sure. that does have Trickle an impact yeah. trickling right up the stream, yes. Okay, Holly, thank you so much for your insight. You bet, thank we'll you. see you next Friday. All right, sounds good.